Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of How It Works. Today we're gonna look in depth on how brakes on the electric scooter works. As you know, we had quite a journey with brakes. You can go check out our video about region brakes that we posted two weeks ago. So we believe that now we have a really strong system. So we're gonna walk you through all the different types and explain to you why we like them. So here we go. The first one is a disc brake. This one is overall good value for money. It's gonna offer a lot of stopping power and usually you can get away with just putting one on a scooter and it's definitely strong enough to stop that little scooter. If we continue with the disc brake, there's two subcategories. The first one is cable brake. The operating of it is pretty straightforward. You have a cable inside of a brake line and when you press on the handle, it's gonna pull on that cable and then it's gonna move a little arm on the caliper and close close bolt braking pads on the disc and that's gonna create friction and that's gonna stop the scooter. This is pretty much fail proof. It's a system that was proven for years. So overall great, but the downside is that the pressure that you apply on the brake handle is gonna be the same pressure that is applied on the disc brake. It's one for one, basically. The other variant is hydraulic brake. This one, as it is mentioning in the name, it's hydraulic. There's fluid in a brake line within a vacuum. So in the brake handle, instead of having a cable that start there and a lever, it's gonna be pushing a piston that's gonna be moving oil. And that oil is gonna start from the tank of the brake handle. You press on it, the piston push it. It's going through the brake line. Again, it's all sealed to the caliper. And then there's gonna be an exponential pressure that's gonna be applied on both brake pads to then squeeze on the disc brake. Also with hydraulic brakes, usually both brake pads gonna move and close on the disc compared to a regular cable brake. It's only gonna move one brake pad and squish it against the other. So you can imagine that the braking power is much more. People also like it because with an hydraulic brake, you can use only one finger and get the stopping power of as if you were using your whole hand with a cable system. So it feels great. The downside to it though is it's very hard to adjust and the servicing is so messy. You know, when we do those uh, servicing of hydraulic brakes in our repair centers, we put things on the floor, mat on the floor. We have bins to collect the oil because it's extremely messy. And the downside too is as soon as you have a small leak or just that the system is no longer under vacuum, you lose all performance of the hydraulic brake. So it's messy, hard to adjust and extremely expensive. Usually scooters are 150 to $200 more with hydraulic brakes. Then we have the drum brake that looks like this. We have them on the City, on the Pro, and on the Explore. The drum brakes is obviously my favorite kind of mechanical brake because it's fully enclosed, resistant to water. The brake pads are way thicker than what you have on this brake. They are easy to adjust. You have an adjustment arm on the drum itself and on the brake handle. So that just make it a lot easier to adjust. And compared to disc brake and hydraulic brake, you don't need any tools to adjust them. You can simply take your fingers and twist the adjustment knob to make it tighter or uh, to loosen them. So it's easy to do on the go. It's not messy, it's gonna last a long time. So again, it might be true for cars that disc brakes are more efficient, but for scooters, if you can stop both wheels with a brake handle, that's good enough. And you are going at speed of 50, 60 kilometers per hour. So drum brakes are definitely sufficient for this. The last type of brake is region brake. As you all know, this is my specialty. Cling. The first one is a region brake that you have in the brake handle on all scooters. It's an on or off signal. So as soon as you press a little bit on the brake handle, the region brake is gonna be applied to the maximum setting. It's gonna block the motors, basically. This is not fun to ride. It's either too much or you don't feel it at all. It's not recharging the battery really because the system is just not built to handle such current. Now, the newest scooter like the Apollo one have three wires inside the brake handle. This means that if you press just a little bit on the brake handle, it's gonna apply just a little bit of regen. It's much more pleasant to drive and you can really benefit of the regen and the sensation is phenomenal. And lastly, you have the best type of regen, which is with a throttle. So just like you control the acceleration of your scooter with your right thumb usually, or your index, depending on the scooter you have, you can do the same with the left throttle that is a regen. This is my favorite one because it's so intuitive. It's like playing a video game. You really go forward with this one and break with this one. Any one of you who played video game, you're gonna know that at least for PlayStation, which is the best console, 
You can accelerate with the right and you can drift with the left, right? It's uh, ingrained into our brain. Driving like this with only your thumb sticking out is obviously safer and more intuitive than driving with one of your hand like this to brake and the other one like this, right? I think the reaction time is just way quicker like this. To complete this whole experience, you need to have dedicated custom throttles. Right now, the market don't offer great throttles. You have regular standard throttle like you have, let's say, on the Xiaomi or Segway, which are all the same. And so you're gonna have the same throttle on the right and the left. If you want to go above and beyond and really make it feel like a video game, I truly believe that you need a dedicated throttle that's gonna twist a little bit to the left and one a little bit to the right so you feel even more connected to the scooter. And the beauty of this is that it's recharging your battery while using it, so it's the best of all the worlds. If you want to learn more about Regent Brakes, go check our video. We go in depth on how it works. That's pretty much it for all the braking types. If you have any feedback or comment, leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video.